Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we'll be looking at what is probably the biggest update I have ever seen in War Tycoon. And of course, I'm talking about the tank update. This just released today and honestly, I am completely surprised with what the developers were able to add in just one update. First of all, the biggest thing they added, obviously it's in the title of the update, is tanks. And I mean, they're pretty sick, although some of them... Uh, I'm not going to be able to test because it would take like a full day worth of my time to unlock them. And then they also added an RPG and a javelin. Although the javelin I also haven't unlocked because well that would also take quite a while. And honestly if I'm going to be completely honest do not use the javelin. The RPG is just so much more versatile I guess. Because the RPG, you can snipe people with it, you can snipe helicopters with it, and you can snipe, well, vehicles with it. It's honestly just probably one of my favorite weapons in the game. And honestly, I've been wanting something like an RPG for quite a while. But anyways, enough of that. Let's get to the actual big part of this update, which is this. And as you can see, this building is new and it is ginormous. Like, it is kind of huge and honestly I wouldn't be surprised if they add some pretty big vehicles within the next few weeks because honestly judging by how big this is it's literally bigger than the original garage this thing could handle some pretty big sized tanks but anyways let's get started with explaining this so to spawn a tank after you buy it you need vehicle parts as you can see you need one of everything to spawn I'm pretty sure every tank in the game right now and some of you might be asking well how do you get tank parts and well for that you need to build the basement and down here you have these these things they cost quite a bit but they are the things that create your tank parts so as you can see this one makes the turret this one make this one makes the engine and that one makes the hull and there's a limit of three tank parts which honestly is quite a bit because these tanks they're not exactly going to be dying all the time because Boy, do they have a lot of health. Like even a little bird, which can annihilate any ground vehicle in this game before this update, just gets completely decimated. Just like annihilated from this thing. Cause like, it just, this thing has so much health. So as you can see, we're in the starter tank. It's a little rinkity dinkity looking tank. It's kind of really, really tiny. I mean, it has one kind of small looking turret and a tiny looking machine gun. But let me just show you something really quick. So let's just shoot that. I don't know if you saw, but that is a full health shield. Maybe even double health. And just the amount of health that took off is insane. The turrets in these things are like practically unstoppable. It also, it helps that they do not have bullet drop. So pretty much you can be sniping at people's bases from like across the map. Like this green guy, he's all the way across the map. And I can just click on it and then boom we got his we got his health all the way down and honestly a starting base I'm pretty sure that one tank shot almost completely destroys the shield which um yeah that's pretty crazy also you just need to take a second to appreciate those tank physics like look at those tracks they're just smoothly riding over everything I'm not sure how long this took the developers to make but this looks pretty cool just the way that it smoothly flows pretty much over everything. And honestly, if I'm going to be completely honest with you, the only thing in this game that can counter tanks are three things. Number one is the Apache, and that's pretty much only if you're going up against a tiny tank like this. Number two is the whatever. I think it's the MI. I don't know. The, the Robux helicopter, the pay to win helicopter, that one, because obviously it's pay to win. So it's going to be pretty good. And lastly, the AC-130. That's honestly probably the best thing to counter tanks in this game. Okay, so as you can see, we're back and the tank parts have replenished. Honestly, I'm not sure what the point of even having these tank parts are because they're kind of super useless. But anyways, now you can see we got this behemoth. This is, let me check what it's called. If you, It's the T-72 tank, Soviet era battle tank. Honestly, this took me quite a while to get and honestly it's just kind of a cooler and slightly better version of the well the old world war ii tank so as you can see it's pretty much the same deal the main difference is that it's just slightly better in i'm pretty sure like every single way so honestly i'm not complaining it does take you quite a while to get it because you have to get oh just wait we got this guy 
see how fast this tank annihilated that? That took one shot and already almost died. Like, it is smoking, and I'm pretty sure it was on full health. So, yeah, this thing is pretty crazy. What is this guy thinks he can just beat a tank in a fight? Now, I don't know. This guy seems, uh, he's, oh my god, and he has, like, no HP. What was he doing? This guy thought he was, like, the main character, thinking he can just beat a tank in a 1v1. Anyways, you might think that's pretty much all there is to this update, just tanks and maybe a rocket launcher, you know, nothing much. But I have yet to tell you probably my favorite part of this update, and that is, as you can see here, you can steal other people's tank parts, which means that they added pretty much what is an actual reason to raid people's bases. And uh, so obviously we're gonna do that. So let me just equip this gun. This is the brand new gun they added. And honestly, if you look at that recoil, it looks pretty similar to, well, the scar. So honestly, I think it might be pretty close to the best gun in the game. Cause obviously if you don't think the scar is the best gun in the game, then something's up. What, you know what? Um, I don't speak, uh, I don't speak that language, so, uh, time to get out, maybe raid somebody's base, but first of all, I'm gonna try and have my first actual 1v1 of the day with this dude. Come on, shoot me. Oh, man, we're lighting him up. This, this tank is too good, man. No one can compete with it, and goodbye. Oh, shoot, where am I getting? Oh, no, it's over. Actually, did you see how much damage that did? Look, we're pretty much immune to this guy. He's like launching rockets and like, look at our health. It like just doesn't go down. <laughs> what do I do here? Because it says you can like raid people's bases and whatever. But like, is this it? Is this? Oh, it's over. You know what? I'm gonna try to get back over there. Hopefully he, before he like does any shenanigans. Hopefully I can get over there and continue trying to rob him. Oh, he's just ignoring me. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I think we're good because he's out in his tank, right? You can tell. Come on. Oh, yeah. He definitely sees me. But anyways, that's it for today's video, so make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.